breast reconstruction following a mastectomy. The two most common procedures used for breast reconstruction following a mastectomy include the use of implants and the autologous technique. The latter uses skin, fat, and muscle from other areas of your body to reconstruct the breast. Immediate or delayed reconstruction. The best time for breast reconstruction is when mastectomy is being performed. This is an immediate reconstruction. Right after the mastectomy, the plastic surgeon will reconstruct your breast. The advantages include fewer scars, requires only one surgery, feeling of relief to wake up with breasts. However, breast reconstruction doesn't have to be performed right after mastectomy. It can be done at a later time, months or years later. This is called delayed breast reconstruction. Some reasons why breast cancer reconstruction could be delayed include need to have radiation or chemotherapy, patient wants to wait to ensure there is no reoccurrence of cancer, patient elects to have separate surgeries, single stage or two stage mastectomy reconstruction. Approximately 70% of all breast reconstruction surgeries are done using implants. If you've decided on breast reconstruction with implants, the procedure can be performed in one or two stages. The single stage approach involves placing the implant under the skin and muscle tissue which remains after the mastectomy without the need to expand the tissue in any way. This technique of breast reconstruction is performed in less than 20% of cases. If there is not enough tissue to work with after a mastectomy, a two-stage breast reconstruction can be performed. A tissue expander with a fill tube is placed between the muscle and skin. The surgeon gradually injects saline solution over several months to inflate the expander. Once the tissue has stretched enough to accommodate an implant, another surgery is performed to position the implant. Mastectomy and reconstruction using flap techniques. After a mastectomy, there are several breast reconstruction techniques that can be performed using skin, fat, and muscle taken from other areas of your body. Tram flap uses abdominal tissue and muscle. Deep flap uses abdominal skin and fat while preserving the muscle. Latissimus dorsi flap uses tissue taken from the upper back. Gap flap uses tissue taken from the buttocks. Tug flap uses tissue from the upper part of the thigh. Breast reconstructed using skin and tissue can look and feel almost identical to natural breast. However, the techniques can be challenging, as some of them involve microsurgery, which requires a highly skilled and experienced surgeon. Recovery can also take longer. You will have extra scars where the tissue was removed, and there may be blood supply issues or future muscle weakness. Click next to visit the picture gallery.